much you said about God giving and taking, mm-hmm. but it's just still so hard. Mm. When God has to take your friend, mm-hmm. probably someone you knew, your friend's friend, your friend's mm. husband, your friend's mm. family. Grief is just so hard. Mm. But how do we process it, especially in this season when there's so much death mm-hmm. around us? Mm-hmm. This is a talk show. It's only a sit-up church online. My name is Kerry Kagiri. I'm hanging out with the beautiful... Kerry Laura. And... Brother Kim. Laura, mm-hmm. <laughs> have you grieved? Yeah, I have. My first time was in 2017. I lost my granddad. Oh, sorry. And we were close, so... That's the first time um, I felt I felt the pain of grief. Yeah, yeah. Also, recently, a very close friend of mine lost her newborn. Mm. Um, another friend of mine lost her sister to cancer last year. So here and there, I have mm-hmm. grieved. Yeah. And grief is a process, and that's mm-hmm. one thing we need to preach about. And brother Kim, I'm sure you can take us through that just a little bit. Kabisa. On what that means. What that means. I think it's, it's, it's a sense of loss. Uh, when, when we lose anything, when we lose someone, we go through some three A's. There is the accepting, the adjusting, and the advancing. Mm. Now, to bring yourself to accept that I will never talk to so-and-so. Oh. That's it a, can I take you three years. Part, yeah. Yeah. Hey, people go into denial. Mm. I have friends who tell me I can hear their voice. And yeah. I tell them she do. I can yeah. see them. I can't see them. Another yeah. one says, I saw him cross the road. That's me. <laughs> That's my grief story. <laughs> and you're running after them. Eh? Yeah. But at the end of the day, by the grace of God, you have to bring yourself. And I think for me, what comes to, to mind is Psalm 61. When my heart is overwhelmed, mm. lead, lead me, me to, to the, the rock, rock that's that is higher than, than I. I. Amen. I can tell you, moments will come and you will be so overwhelmed. Mm. I remember the first day I buried someone. I yeah. was balancing tears. And balancing. I'm supposed to be strong for everyone. Oh, you were I don't blast. even know I, this person. I understand. You know the way you're looking uh-huh. at the family standing this side, yeah. standing this side, and I'm here telling them, eh, release, open. And people are, ooh, 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 ooh. So my it's like, oh hard. My God, now what is this? What is what kind of a career is this? Yeah. And I can tell you, I had to hit one of my pastor friends, like continue mm. with the songs and everything. So I stepped aside just to gather myself. Yeah. But with time, I've come to that place of just being in control of the emotions, mm. especially when we need to. Because yeah. my job is the like that something happens, you're called at midnight. News has not yet been broken to the family members and you have to be the bearer of bad news. You know that is if if, if there's one reason why I could <sighs> never be a pastor. Let me you. tell you. There are moments I just go <laughs> so hug someone <laughs> and I'm like this this one story that I use, I just hug them. I'm like, some angels passed by the, your house oh. and they carried someone. Then they're like, uh. what are you talking about? You know, you're just trying to get an intro. So I think number one, wow. pray to God that you will come I got to that to stage when you of said that. you know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Come to that level of, Lord, give me the grace mm, to accept. Mm. And then after you accept, ask the Lord to help you adjust life. Yeah. Like many other times we've helped people even distribute clothes. You know? I mean, those like are the I things. I have someone currently we are dealing with, they locked their mom's bedroom and we buried her two years ago. It has not yet been opened. Everything is still intact. Fair and you know, you can't thing. rush this person. Neither can you tell them, by the way, You just need to ask them, by the how are you processing this? Then finally, when the Lord gives you the grace and you heal, imagine you advance so that you now start talking about it without much tears. And Mm. when the tears come, they are tears of thanking God. Mm. God saw me through all the memories. Mm. But the problem is, some of us, wow, guy, some of us, (laughs) we we love, what's the word? We hold on to pain. And you make, unfortunately, pain a small God. Whereby, one hand, God is reaching out to you, release. But on this other hand, you're like, no, I miss this person so dearly. Mm. We must allow God, however painful it is, to step into that moment, Mm. to give you the grace to accept, Mm. adjust, and advance. advance. Looking forward to that. Yes, sure, in two minutes. Practical ways. Yes. Go ahead. Um, I have remembered very vividly, especially when I lost my granddad and my Mm. cousin, Mm. Um, very young man had an accident. Mm. 
one of the for me i figured mm -hmm. i know this may not be this case for everyone mm -hmm. but let me share mine and then you can pick what mm -hmm. works for you yeah for me i figured one thing that helps me just have the closure is one um if they're in hospital and i'm able to see them i go Good. two visit, yeah. i go to the funeral home yes. and i view view the body Very for important. me i view yes. i know yes. some people struggle with that yeah. mm. um on the day of the funeral blah blah, blah if they it's an open casket mm. i view mm. And then I really try my best if I can be at the grounds and they're lowering mm. the, I just want to, to close that thing yes. in my mind yes. and see it happening. Yes. See them lowering the casket, mm. see us pour, pouring the soil mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, it is done. It's done. Yeah. It is done. I will sing Very the songs, important. I yeah. will cry, mm -hmm. and I'm doing all that so that I just allow yes. my Let mind to yes. understand that mm -hmm. we are actually at the close of the chapter mm -hmm. of this person's life. I love that. Okay. I yeah. love that. I mm -hmm. would like to wrap this one up by saying God cares for you so much. Yes, he does. And just like you mm -hmm. have gone through that loss, you have gone through that grief, mm -hmm. God himself mm -hmm. went through the loss of his only mm -hmm. child. Mm -hmm. And he grieved. Yes. The earth went dark. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had the earth yes. darkness? It wasn't yes. a dini moon. Mm. See what? It was dark. Giza. Like it was tangible yes. darkness. Yes. And I could imagine at that point, God, you know, yeah. he went through that motion. And mm. so I want to encourage you that God cares for you, and you yes. can share with Him what mm. you're feeling. Yeah. But go through the process. Every grief has yes. a process. Ask yourself, where am I at? Mm -hmm. And process it with other people. Have yes. that conversation. Yes. Awesome. I think that's all we can talk about for now. But mm -hmm. we are here to support you. Share this video. Like this video. Tag someone who you think needs to watch this video. Mm -hmm. Kerry Kagiri, Karera Laura, and... Brother Kimu, Marakimashia. Sign out. <laughs> Peace.